Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video where I am going to show you my top and most loved blushes as of right now because, you know, I'm very very much into blushes maybe you've noticed and I'm also just you know I love to wear blush the way I do like kind of also contouring with it kind of like super featuring it and I just want to show you what I'm loving these days okay so if you just found me I'm Leora I'm a makeup artist and I'm a stylist and I am loving colorful makeup I love to live my best life when it comes to makeup and also styling and uh, that is what you're getting here so of course also mostly indie but you know sometimes I also do have other products here that I can kind of want to show you but anyway so please feel free to check out my channel also my social media which is linked in the description box for more looks in case you need some convincing and besides that of course subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome okay sweeties let's go in I have of course way more than what I'm going to show you because these are of course my my top blushes as of right now okay I'm also going to give you different price ranges which I think can be super super helpful all right there is no order now this is not a ranking okay it is just like I'm showing you the different blushes that that I'm liking these days. Now, there are some blushes that are longtime favorites, like for years are my favorites, which is kind of the best proof that they're really, really good. But there are also some new found favorites, okay? So let's just go right in and let's start with one that is kind of a very, very long time favorite. And I have showed you this little Il Maquillage blush palette. I think I've showed you this like two years ago already and I'm still using them. This is a custom made palette from Il Maquillage with, let me just uh, tell you the shades. This one is Toxic, this one is Vogue, this one is Bootylicious and this one is Lady Marmalade. Okay, I chose them and I put them in this custom made palette and I love them. I love them, they're beautiful and I love them. These are their baked blushes, uh, so, so nice. Of course, Il Maquillage is kind of a, comes with a price tag, obviously. I bought this back then when I was actually working with Il Maquillage, so I got it basically on a very discounted price, so that's why I bought this. But um, if you have the money, <laughs> the blushes are really, really nice. All right, so anyway, Let's move on to something that is a little bit more affordable and I definitely want to feature this first of all also because I'm actually wearing one of those blushes today but also because I have been for quite some time now a super super big fan of face products from BH Cosmetics. Sweeties, like I almost want to say more than eyeshadows, I'm a super super big fan of their blush and highlighter formula. I have not yet tried any bronzing and stuff like that but blushes and highlighters I have tried and I love, 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 you know, just saying. Also my highlighter today is from BH Cosmetics, but of course that is not the topic today. But anyway, um, I used for today's look this palette here, the Vanilla Cherry Truffle uh, Blush Palette, which looks like this and I used this shade today. Now you might want to say, Leora, are you quite fair? Uh, this is quite dark, but I really, really like to do that. It is just like a personal choice and you will also see later that I also actually like lighter blushes a lot. It is just, you know, depending on how I feel and I never feel like I should limit myself to just the colors that, um, I don't know, traditional makeup dictates for me. You know what I mean? I don't think I should do that. I think I should wear whatever I want to wear. So and that's why. And also, sorry, but also I like to kind of also use uh, blush shades to sort of contour, you know, and I know that also that is frowned upon <laughs> by makeup artists. And yeah, I am a makeup artist myself, but I feel this is beautiful. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. You know, you can always just have the, the blush on the um, the apple of your cheek or whatever you call it. But um, I kind of feel like dragging it up a little bit is super pretty. And uh, yeah, so that is that. This is really, really nice, really good stuff. And also, wanted to show you this one. This is the Glowing in Grease uh, six color blush and highlighter palette. And this is how she looks. Now this is probably the best color scheme for me for my skin tone, you know? And also I really, really like the corally um, blush kind of a color scheme. You will also see that later. It's going to be a reoccurring theme because that looks super, super good on me. And I also feel like 
it looks very good with colorful makeup you know because it sort of picks up my skin tone and everything and it is not the super barbie pink or something you know so anyway this is a beautiful formula both highlighter and also blush formula is super super nice highly highly recommended this is pretty new to my collection as well as this one uh, but both of them i've tried now a couple of times and i love them so so much now something that is also super super new it is even that new that you have not seen it in any of my uh, makeup hauls yet because it has caught it kind of it came in after my last one you know after my last makeup haul and that is from cxc beauty this is this blush palette and that is called beyond blush sunset wait sunset kiss <laughs> This is what it's called and this is how she looks. Now I'm going to get this a little bit closer to you and um, I have not tried all of the shades yet. I've tried two. It's uh, this one and this one. No, actually three. Also this one I have tried and this is also a super super nice palette and I personally I love palettes where I just have blushes or just have highlighters. You know for me that makes the most sense though I have to say now for example with this one because the color scheme is spectacularly well done um, for my for my skin tone obviously. Um, um, this is also working well even though it is mixed blushes and highlighters okay so just saying it's just for me personally I always I never know where to put it because I have categories where I put my makeup here storage wise you know I have this whole thing where I have my blushes I have this whole thing where I have my highlighters so where does this go you know so it's that that makes it a little bit hard so that's why I really really like to have stuff like that you know also like the Il Maquillage palette that I just showed you but also this one and this is super super new and I've also started to try my own palette that I've made a custom made palette um, with CXC Beauty and um, if you're following me on my Leora Cosmetics Instagram you will have seen the flat lay of this spectacular looking palette and uh, we will talk about that later but th that is the blush palette palette and I'm really really liking it. Super super nice if that is the color scheme you're looking for. Gives you also quite the range in colors you know but anyway I mean even if you have a darker skin tone you can use this as a blush and maybe this is a highlighter even. I don't know you'll have to try I don't really I cannot judge this too much but anyway I think this is so so pretty and for me personally I always say that I know I'm being repetitive that even when you're fair you can use dark colors you can just go in slowly be careful and then build up slowly you know you can totally do it so anyway yeah so that is that should also point out that I actually do have a code with CXC Beauty in case you want to use any of my codes they are of course in the description box down below okay then a longtime favorite is also this one this is from Christy Brinkley and I got this from one of my besties a long time ago probably something like two or three years ago and it is still one of my most favorite blushes this is the blush posh okay and um, this is a beautiful formula it applies like velvet it is just absolutely gorgeous and also again here this is of course this corally kind of leaning blush that is just melting into my skin tone and is just you know super super nice because you feel it's there it does its job but it doesn't distract from the eyes or the lips you know because for certain looks like for example for today I kind of feel like you know why would you want to distract from the eyes you know because they are really really nice yeah so anyway <laughs> all right so that was Christy Brinkley um, a long time favorite now something that I've just recently found for myself is actually this one this is from Revolution Makeup and this is what are they called the reloaded blushes okay reloaded blushes I got this here from my local drugstore and it was uh, like a pressure buy because I was frustrated and I bought this you know <laughs> happens so and then I was like okay let's let's try this and also here color scheme y you see what what I like right <laughs> so anyway these are good these are good and they are so so affordable I love them you know and they also when you have them uh, when you buy them from the website you can have I don't know 12 different shades or how many there are a lot of different shades and in my drugstore I only had one because you know my drugstore is amazing so yeah but um, if I would have the chance I would definitely pick up more because of it being affordable because of making myself happy and because they are really really good you know 
I mean, seriously, wow. So yeah, then uh, let's also talk about this one. This is my only brush that I have from Melt Cosmetics. And this is the, let me read this for you. This is the Digital Dust Duo Blush in Raw Honey. That came out, um, I think there were also two more of this kind of dual blush brushes. Of course, this is also a price tag because it's Melt. <laughs> I got this as a gift from one of my super, super good friends. And uh, I love this also because it is kind of the cold neutral version because also that looks amazing of course this is shimmery so um, you got to be into that if you're more into uh, matte blushes then this is of course not going to be your thing but it is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it applies beautiful i love this so so much and i love uh, glowy blushes and stuff like that absolutely no problem i would i would love to pick up the other two shades that are available or the other two combinations there's also one that is a little bit more you know corally kind of um mm, so so good but the price tag is kind of preventing me from doing that but anyway this is a uh, very very nice then i also wanted to show you something that i have featured in a video maybe a few weeks back that was um, something that I got in PR and that is from Osgard Queen Cosmetics and I got this little blush here in PR and yes it is super super dark and yes I chose this because uh, the owner told me I can choose you know so I chose this one because again I really really do believe from my experience that you can use whatever you want you can make it work you know don't shy away from dark colors if that is the color that you like if that's what speaks to you so this is the shade Rosehip Flower and I love this one. It is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And yes, you have to of course go in slowly if you have my complexion, but it absolutely works. And for me, I just feel like if you're using it as kind of also contour, it, it just creates such a cool look, you know, like, I don't know, I just love it. So this is the one from Oscar Queen Cosmetics. So, so nice. Then I also wanted to show two more things. Okay, two more. Um, now we go price tag zoom, up through the roof and that is Pat McGrath. So I got uh, three blushes from one of my besties. I know. Um, yeah, and these are the, I think they're called the Royal Blushes. This, this collection just recently launched, so I but I've already forgotten. I think they're called the Royal Blushes. So I have three different ones. This is, for example, the shade Divine Rose. This is the shade Desert Orchid. And also here you see the color scheme. You see this is, you know, I told you this is going to be a reoccurring thing. And then I also do have the shade Nude Venus. Yeah. So all of these I got uh, from one of my besties and um, amazing quality absolutely amazing quality you know sometimes it is when you think well uh, this is a price tag and at the end it's basically the same ingredients and it's you know it's probably gonna be the same as everything else can be yes absolutely but these I want to say that these are really really good you know they go on super super nice now i kind of feel like i wish i would have chosen something darker because also my bestie asked me which shades i want because sometimes of course the darker shades for me can be in application a little bit more tricky so i could I tell you or share how how those perform I do believe of course formula wise they will perform the same but of course application wise I would have to use a different technique than I use with a blush that absolutely melts into my skin tone you know but the way I apply those everything is fine they work super super nice it's a bliss it's absolutely a bliss so yeah super super grateful okay and the last thing i actually want to show you is she glam and i know because from my from my comment section i know that some of you have been hesitating to try she glam because you are scared or worried that it's going to be crap <laughs> right so yeah but it's not you know i still have not tried as of right now when i'm filming this i still have not tried the eyeshadow formula but I do have tried the highlighter formula and the blush formula. So this one here, actually, I have for quite some time. This is the shade Slay of their Metallic Glow Blushes. Uh, this one I have for... I want to say maybe half a year. I've tried it a couple of times already and this is a very very nice blush, you know? Like consider the price and consider what you're getting. 
you know, really, really good. And then these ones, I think you saw in my last um, collected makeup haul. Um, these are also from the Metallic Glow Blush series, and this is the shade Jasmatic. Also performs nice, you know? Everything good. There is nothing like where I would say, wow, this was a waste of money, or this is a waste of my time even trying, or it ruined my makeup or anything. Nothing like this. And this is the shade Sway. Also, this is darker, but oh dear Lord, you know? Mm, so, so good. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so that is basically what I wanted to share with you because I thought it would be so, so nice if I could show you that both ends of the spectrum can absolutely work, you know? And I know that some people lean a little bit more towards high end, which is totally fine if you can afford it. But I personally also feel like I love it if I get a good deal. I love it to save money, you know? And I love it that there are options, like for example, She Glam, where you can just chop something and even if it's for a silly reason like you had a bad day and you just want to treat yourself with something this you know when it comes to she glam it's not going to break your bank account and you still get stuff that is very very decent you know so yeah but um oh, if i would have to tell you a favorite now i don't think i could i don't think i could because these are really my favorites right now like all together and i just wanted to show you so anyway let me know if you have a certain blush formula or a certain brand that produces blushes where you say wow well, Liora you need to try this this is so good I'm very very intrigued honestly by uh, Jaclyn Hill you know by her um, complexion products and stuff like that but of course also that is a price tag that uh, is not chic glam <laughs> you know what I mean but yeah anyway let me definitely know what you think about all of this if you have tried any of the products um, that I've showed you today or if you have any recommendations for me I would absolutely love to know and besides that of course I'm going to try to link the things that I've spoken about in the description box down below feel free to check out down around there uh, because all of my social media contacts are there and of course also my discount codes with the different brands and also my makeup of today in case you're curious what I'm wearing today. Besides that of course don't forget to subscribe because that would absolutely make my day and I'll see you here super soon for my next video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye!